All right, guys, welcome to Flav Oriana's MMA Show. I'm your host, Flav Oriana, brought to you by Four Corner Sports. Guys, Sean Strickland is now the new UFC middleweight champion of the world. He's done it at 7-1 to one odds. The man has climbed the mountaintop. Nobody that I know of, all right, or on MMA Twitter, had that in their bingo cards as Sean Strickland to be champion in the year of our Lord 2023. Alright. The man has fought five times since getting knocked out by Alex Pereira just last July. He fought um what's it called? Jared Cannonier at the end of 2022 and, and that was to close out the last show of uh, 2022 and then be and open the card I mean, open the year as the as the main event as well to fight Nasruddin Imamov at light heavyweight. Man for Abus Magomedov and then for Israel Adesanya um, to capture the middleweight title. The man, since he came back in 2020, has only lost twice. Um, has defeated Jack Marshman. Has defeated Brendan Allen. Um, has defeated um, Nasruddin Imamov. Has defeated a whole bunch of Uriah Hall. Israel Adesanya um, has only lost twice Jerry Cannonier and Alex Pereira. All right. And we are now living in an era where Sean O'Malley and Sean Strickland, the two Sean's, all right, that, you know, have a lot, I would say they have a pretty large fan base, right? And people tune in to watch their videos are now champions at Bantamweight and at Middleweight. Now, I firmly believe that. Sean Strickland, he's going to get a whole bunch of views whenever he fights. I mean, there's going to be public, you know, the public's going to start finding out who he is. Probably not going to like about some of the stuff that he has said in the past. Um, you know, there's going to be backlash. I just saw the other day Robert Griffin III um, just pulling up an old video of uh, Sean Strickland and saying, is this who we're going to have as a champion in the UFC? And with that, I say, uh, Robert Griffin, if you haven't heard of Sean Strickland and you're pulling up videos that happened months ago, stay away from this sport, all right? This is, isn't a sport for you, all right? Go focus on covering college football. Go focus on talking about the NFL. MMA over here, leave that for, you know, the people that actually enjoy it, not just, you know, find out who champion who a champion is and, like, oh, let me see who this guy is and then start blasting him on Twitter, all right? No, 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 no. You know, keep in your lane, my friend. All right. Now, um, the fight itself, man, people were talking about if this is the biggest upset in UFC history. With that, I say no, because I still have GSP versus Matt Sarah as the biggest upset with Matt Sarah uh, flash knocking out GSP. Um, I do have um, Juliana Pena defeating Amanda Nunes as number two. I would have you can you we can have a debate about this just because we've seen Holly Holm um, have a successful career. Um, Holly Holm defeating Ronda Rousey, although who's to say that if Rousey would have landed a takedown? Not that I can fully re remember this off the top of my head, but if Rousey would have landed a takedown, how differently that fight could have been if they played it out, you know, out of t ten times. I want to say. Maybe Strickland could, maybe Sean Strickland is top five. All right. But it's the manner that he did it. He ended up winning round one, um, throwing a right as um, Adesanya was trying to time a looping um, left hook and just puts um, Adesanya down to the floor. Um, lands 27 headshots in the final, like 15 seconds of round one after knocking him down. Um, wins round one, loses round two just because maybe. He overused a lot of energy in round one to try to put away um, Adesanya. In rounds three, four, and five, I mean, his defense was very impeccable. The man, what's it called, understands what it is to pressure fight and to make sure that his opponent is missing and timing everything correctly. The man won the fight on defense. The man won the fight on making sure Adesanya is backpedaling to the, to the cage the entire night. Um, Adesanya looked drenched. Adesanya looked tired. Adesanya looked like... He was just constantly missing, which in that, yeah. and the fact that he was, I mean, I saw a graphic in round five that Adesanya had only landed 11% of his uh, head strikes, as including punches and kicks, 
and he had missed over a hundred strikes, which is incredible because for somebody of Israel Adesanya's nature who is a counter striker and who is very, very accurate, um, for him to miss that much, I mean, no wonder he was exhausted. Um, no wonder he was being able to um, on the fence and in the final 30 seconds when Strickland was begging him to, to throw something, he had nothing left in the gas tank. Um, it was a great plan by Eric Nixick and uh, Sean Strickland. Um, well, Sean, well, Eric Nixick and the crew uh, to game plan, and then Sean Strickland to execute. He didn't even need a takedown. Not even one takedown was um, even thrown or even uh, attempted, um, like any or any of that nature. I feel that now we're coming in a weird spot in the middleweight division because of the fact that who out there is next. Um, I do feel that uh, Drickus Duplessis is one of the biggest losers because. Originally, he was supposed to fight Israel Adesanya on the, on the September 9th card, but he declined. Now, that leaves a whole bunch of um, fighters, you know, available to see who's going out there. Um, what's it called? We have a fight next month, Polo Costa versus um, Hamza Shamaya. Um, and he were predicting that will be, the you know, the person that faces um, Sean Strickland. So, he were saying that Israel Adesanya versus Sean Strickland too should be the, the fight to make. I say no. I personally believe that Polo Costa versus uh, Hamza Shemaya should be the winner of that should face Sean Strickland. If not, um, put DDP in there. But you know who also is just entered his name into this this type of a mix? Jerry Cannonier and Robert Whitaker. Robert Whitaker has never fought Sean Strickland, and Jerry Cannonier has fought Sean Strickland, and it um, has a win over him. So that makes it even more enticing. Um, I feel like a lot of middleweights now feel like they have an easier. I would say, yeah, maybe an easier chance on trying to defeat Sean Strickland. I don't think so because of the fact that Sean Strickland, he's only lost to the best. All right, he's only lost to um, Alex Pereira and um, uh, Jared Cannonier is a top five middleweight. So I feel that what's it called? Um, and I felt in the Jared Cannonier fight, Sean Strickland should have won. But I do believe this, that I feel that Sean Strickland's next opponent might come in, in December. And I have a feeling it's going to be the Sean's that are on top of the card. Sean O'Malley versus Cheeto Vera as the, main, as the main event, I feel like, for December. And I feel Sean Strickland versus fill-in-the-blank DDP. Um, I don't think if it's in December, I don't think Hamza Shemaya or Paulo Costa is going to make that quick of a turnaround. Unless they get paid exorbitant amount of money. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's like Jared Cannonier just because he filled in as the backup for the September 9th um, fight. So there's a lot of stuff that's opening up. Um, the whole MMA landscape, well, the UFC middleweight landscape has, you know, turned upside down as Sean Strickland ruined the UFC's plans because they, they many of them saw this as a, a bridge fight for Israel Adesanya to fight the winner of Polo Costa versus uh, Hamza Shemaya. And even Israel Adesanya was predicting that he was going to end up defending that belt for, at UFC 300 against Hamza Shemaya. So with that being said, I really do believe that um, Adesanya, and this is nothing taken away from Sean Strickland. I really do believe that Hamza Shum, um I'm sorry, Israel Adesanya, you know, wasn't focused. And you know who else was focused? Sean Strickland. And I think if you replay that fight 10 times, I think... Five out of five. I mean, five out of ten times, Adesanya wins, and five out of five out of ten, um, Sean Strickland would win. So, I wouldn't mind seeing the rematch, but not right now. Maybe for uh, definitely Adesanya's next opponent should be Strickland, but not Strickland's next opponent should be Adesanya. If that makes any sense to you guys. But wow, guys, we have a new middleweight champion. Um, the card overall for UFC um, 293 was fine. I mean. We saw Tai Tuivasa get Ezekiel choked by um, Alexander Volkov. We saw Manel Kopp, you know, getting a victory over Felipe Dos Santos, which that was a fantastic fight. You guys saw the press conference. So much heat um, Manel Kopp had put into that press conference. Um, we had seen uh, Justin Tafa knock out Austin Lee, you know, getting redemption after the eye poke that he had to deal with in Jacksonville. Tyson Pedro defeating the Pleasure Man. Um, Anton, whatever his, his last name, I can't pronounce it. Carlos Ober getting a win by submission. It was originally a decision, but um, the the ref, 
the referees had to get involved and they noticed that Dao Anjong ended up uh, tapping prior to the bell sounding off. So overall, great card. I mean, we had a bunch of good fights. Was it worth the 80 bucks? Yeah, I mean, I'm the type of person that's going to want to spend, you know, on every single pay-per-view. But at, at the end of the day, Sean Strickland won. That is the biggest storyline in MMA right now. And he's he's gotten attention from all from all middleweights, um, to even Conor McGregor, who's even a- anticipating on possibly trying to fight up to try to claim a third title belt. And the only reason why I feel like he's trying to do that is just because he feels like it's an easier matchup for him, and you feel like it's a it's just a pure striking um matchup. But we'll see what happens. Sean Strickland is the king of the middleweights, and he is officially now inside the UFC um, pound for pound um, listing. But in, until then, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we got a new middleweight champion, and I cannot wait until his next fight. Until then, guys, I'm Flavio Rihanna, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.